Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done a 928 video and wanted to share my latest adventure with you. When I uh, talk to other owners and uh, visiting the forums, one of the most talked about interior topics is the dash on these cars. All these plastic dashes from the 80s are susceptible to cracking over time and especially if your car has lived anywhere where there's uh extreme heat uh, um it's not a question of of um if the dash cracks it's when uh, my car has lived in texas for a long time the previous owner had had it parked outside um for quite a long time and uh it took a toll on the dash and even though i've done a lot of leather work as you can see inside the car and really address a lot of the interior issues when I bought it. The dash was badly cracked and um, I've been playing around with um, a dash filler by the uh, made by Polyvans and I'll show you that. It actually worked out really well on my 6 Series BMW which is also a plastic dash, vinyl dash from the 80s. And so here's the, the stuff that I've been using. And uh, right here is the hardening cream. It's really, really easy to use. Uh, I think I paid 25 or 30 bucks for this small can and that's all you need. And this can will last you for a long time. It'll probably do 30 cars. Uh, this is the smallest can that you can buy and it's real simple i mean you just i use a, a a teaspoon right here and i just mix uh sort of a half or quarter size golf ball size on my little plastic uh, top here add a very small amount of the hardener and i mix it up and uh, and then i go about uh applying the hardener or the the polyvans filler i should say sorry to the cracks um if you i don't have any a before video but this was a pretty bad crack right here and you can apply the um the polyvans uh you could uh, apply it with a, a plastic spatula is probably the best thing and and the good thing with the polyvans is it it flows um of course like a liquid it'll fill inside the crevice, the crack, and any, uh, any of the excess that goes onto the flat part of the dash, as it hardens, you can actually grab a little corner of it with your fingernail, or maybe a really small jeweler's flat edge screwdriver, and lift up the corner, and it'll lift up the excess without pulling up the piece that's inside the crevice. So it's really neat. So that way the excess can be lifted off, leaving uh, the filled crack, which is pretty cool. Um, so right now I've actually gone ahead and sanded down this crack with uh, 150 grit. And then I'm going back with uh, 300 grit just to make it nice and smooth. And really what you want to do is make sure that as your finger passes over that filled crack, it's nice and smooth. And... Uh, it's not going to be 100% perfect because as these dashes crack, they sort of, um, they come up on both sides, right? And so it, you try to try and make it as flat as possible, but definitely you want to make it as smooth as possible as well. And so you can see that I'm in the process right now uh, of sanding everything down and you can see the other cracks that uh, I've filled and started sanding tonight. Um, you can see there's a, a section behind the gauge uh, cluster um, of the console there and I have to sand that so you can see the the excess that I have to still lift off uh, but it'll it'll come up no problem and the the fill cracks actually it looks really good if you guys uh, you know you guys that are watching this video you probably have uh, a 920 that suffers from the from these cracks and really give it a shot um, the last step uh, is to dye where it's filled and 
I actually know somebody who is a really skilled um, when it comes to dyeing, but also airbrushing. And he can pretty much blend any color. So if this, this dash was purple or any exotic color, he can blend it. Uh, luckily it's black, so it's easy to, to dye and airbrush a black dash. One of my old BMWs, it's, it has a really um, distinct brown dash and he was able to match it perfectly. In fact, on that car, if, you, if I didn't tell you where the cracks were, you wouldn't be able to, to see it. It looks nearly perfect. So I'm, I'm actually really optimistic how this is going to turn out. A lot of the, the key is, is filling it properly and prepping it. And then once that's done, the dyeing and the airbrush work and then the blend will turn out really well. So this is the first video. I'm going to shoot a second video and, uh, and then you guys will see the dash after it's done and you'll see it's a huge improvement. One thing that we don't know is how long will this stuff last, right? So I'm prepared to test it, but at least it will look uh, less of an eyesore and uh, will certainly make a, an, a, a marked difference to the interior of the car, especially if you've gone ahead and done a lot of leather work and things like that. You don't have to worry about uh, pulling the dash out and having it recovered. I know a lot of guys do that. It's a ton of work. So I may ultimately do that with this car, but in the interim, uh, a very um, simple, cost-effective solution is the, the dash filler from Polyvans and then uh, the airbrush and dye. So hope this helps and uh, please be on the lookout for the second uh, part two in this small series on sort of restoring and uh, rejuvenating the dash a little bit and, and at least uh, making the interior of the car um, a little bit, uh, bit nicer. So hope you like it and uh, hope everybody's doing well. Take care. Bye.